Good morning and welcome back to another vlog. Oh, my hair is everywhere. Fairly standard. Um, it is Saturday the 22nd. Oh, I don't know what's going on this. Saturday the 22nd of October, I think. Maybe it's the 23rd. Anyway, it's October and it's the final event of the season. It's so sad. Um, but I thought I would vlog this weekend because it's going to be a really exciting weekend. Um, today I'm taking both girls um, to Aston the Walls for an unaffiliated one day event. Um, they are both stepping up. Cecily's doing the 80, Eliza's doing um, the 100. And then tomorrow, Tiny and I are heading back. Aston are running a training day. Um, and we are going to do the 90 tomorrow. So yeah, very, very exciting weekend. Um, I thought I would try and vlog kind of what goes on. Um, obviously today is gonna be a little bit more manic because I'm working and I've got two horses um, eventing. Um, but tomorrow, hopefully I'll be able to vlog a lot of what I get up to with Tiny. Um, and since I last saw you, I took her um, to a hunter trial at Broadway and she jumped clear around the 80 and we came seventh. So, um, yeah, I've got a really good feeling about tomorrow, but I'm just about to go and put some travel boots on the horses, load, and then hit the road. You're going to be a good boy today, Romeo. Hey. You can be a good boy. Going to make us all proud. <laughs> hey. Tickly. One. We've made it! Oh my goodness, I'm all tucked in. What a drama! The um, road was closed for HS2 and I'm not local obviously so I didn't know the way and then we got lost and then poor Seth just ran around the cross country to walk it um, and she's just gone off to dressage and Eliza's getting ready, Romeo's here and then she's going to get on because she's dressaging like 15 minutes after Seth's. Um, so yeah, it's been a busy one. Welcome to the vlog, Cecily, officially. Yay! <laughs> um, Cecily's doing her first 80 today. She's done her dressage. How was your dressage? Nah, it was all right. And how are you feeling about 80 show jumping cross country? Catherine, you're an interviewer. <laughs> um, I'm oh. all right about it. I feel like I'm forgetting it because I um, walked your first minute this morning first time this morning yeah she walked it as soon yeah. as we got it well you basically ran around didn't yeah. you because we got lost because of hs2 but she did a lovely dressage test and we're now going back to change benson's bridle put some boots on and then Cecily's going to do amazing am i yes you are yes, promise <laughs> Guess, guess what dressage you got? What did I get? What did I get? What did I get? You got a 30.8. Yeah. Which meant you were first after the dressage. You got the best dressage score. Yeah! <laughs> Clever boy, Benson. And then tell them how you got on in show jumping. I went clear, but I think I had seven time faults. Yeah, some time faults, but I mean, look at Benson's little legs. He can't help it. He's only little. But well done. Clear in your first 80 and you were winning after the dressage. Well done. Do you want to tell the vlog what dressage score you got? Uh, 26.3. Which? And, and I thought it was bad as well. Yeah. Put well, it second right now. Yeah! In your first 100. Cecily's just out on cross country. She's so far so good. I'm just trying to listen to the 
commentary. Oh, come on, Seth. You can do this. It's her first 18. She was so nervous, but yeah, she's got this. She's got this. Come on, commentators. They're not going to tell us. Stephanie Bradford ensuring accuracy at uh, Ibis Log Double on board Benson. They've had a cracking season so far and uh, so far. They are enjoying a successful cross country round here. Yes. Come on, Vincent! I'm actually so proud. I feel like I'm gonna cry. Like when you watch this back, Sess, I'm super, super proud of you. I'm getting all emotional. I've just seen you canter across the back there and heard you shouting, Good boy. Um, yeah, hopefully, she'll come back into view in a moment. She's just got a couple more to go. I'm literally so proud. Here she comes. Now behind I'm literally Grove, in tears almost. Here she comes. Isla's picked up the eventing bug. Uh, the horse really seems to enjoy it too. Come on, come on. <laughs> come on Zessie! Good boy. So finishing first will be 177, Cecily Bradford and Benson. Uh, Woohoo! It's a bit later now, it's getting dark. Um, well, not getting dark, it's just coming over cloudy. Um, I'm just walking Romeo down to meet Eliza for her show jumping. Clever Cecily did a double clear in her first 80. Um, she got some time faults, but that's okay. Um, super, super proud of her to go double clear in your first 80 at 10 years old. You cannot complain about that. Um, and yes, yeah, just Eliza's turn now in the 100. Just taking Romeo down. Good boy. See if you can find them. Waiting for you here. Eliza Bradford, Shannon Dale, Gold Rush at the cart. Come on, Lizzy. Yes, good girl. Here we go, two to go. So two to jump for Eliza Bradford and uh, Shannon on. Dale, Gold Rush, Tamsin and Golden Venture. Oh, very neatly through Terry's Mermaid Mound as uh, Anna it. Andrews and Ruby. Lovely, good girl. Look like they're in difficulties at the Tigger's pheasant feeders. Possibly at least Lovely. one aware now. Lovely. I'm just walking where we are off post cross country. They went clear, so both my girls went double clear um, when they stepped up. What an amazing end to the season. Well done, Romeo. And well done, girls. She rested amazing. Right, going to get him hauled off washed and iced his legs and then home to bath and plat tiny before i have to come back and do it all again tomorrow 
We are home safe and sound. Nitzel's here. Nitzel! Just investigating what's in the um, plating box. And I came back to this little chair. Victoria's here staying. I can't do my finger, you guys know. Ooh. Oh, wait, there she is. Victoria's here staying. And Victoria has bathed my pony for me. Her mm -hmm. and Edward did it together. They've bathed Tiny. Nitzel, watch out. She'll bite you. And I can hear Edward and they've done the yard for me so yeah all I need to do now is just put some plaques in tiny for tomorrow um, and put a few bits on the car and the trailer all of the workhorses are all fed and sorted for the night so yeah I'm gonna put some plaques in tiny and then we will see you bright and early tomorrow we have a brush thief and a boot destroyer can you not eat tiny's boots or our brush <laughs> Good morning. I am seriously regretting my life choices right now. It is 6.40. I don't know if you can hear. It is hammering it down with rain. Um, yeah, I'm not actually sure if I will go cross country, depending on the ground. If they've had this kind of rain there and it's like a mud pit. Yeah. We'll see, we'll see, we'll, we'll go anyway. The rain's supposed to stop, so um, I'm up now. So it's only half an hour at the road. We will go at least to the dressage and show jumping, which is on the surface. Um, and then we'll go from there basically. But yeah, thank goodness this is the last kind of eventing weekend because it's no fun when it's dark and raining. And here's my amazing boyfriend who's got up at half six in the pouring rain. He looks like a peaky blinder. <laughs> Come on, Tiny, let's put you on the trailer. Bye, Jessica. Oh, it's so dark and rainy and horrible. Come on. Let's go. Oh, I love eventing. Can you hear that? Hammering it down. I'm gonna try and tack up in the trailer and just go out when we have to. I'm sorry, Tiny. Lovely. 
Lovely. I can't see. No, I can't see. What's this? Where are you going? I'm not doing it. How did she know the course? I didn't even know it. Oh, from yesterday. Lovely. Lovely. Ah, there's a bit springy, but... Good girl. Locked them. Good girl. Let's jump and go. Jump and go. Jump and go. Go, yeah. I'm drenched. I think she's going to that one. Perfect. Right, hold her in. Lovely. Is that it? Oh, perfect. Wow, I don't even know, oh, this is not the best quality on Ed, well, I'm using Edward's phone. Yeah, um, there's water all over the camera. There's water all over the camera. Oh. I can find, find <laughs> We're all done, I'm just about to get changed. Um, a bit of an anticlimactic end to our season. Um, I'm obviously not taking tiny cross country in these weather conditions. We just did our dressage, she did a really nice dressage test. And then um, <laughs> we jumped a really confident 90 show jumping and it was like a lake in there and yeah she was really good I can't ask any more of her so we're going to take her home now we're going to get everything dried out um there'll always be another season but there's only one tiny so I'm not um no way am I taking her cross country um in sloppy ground and torrential rain so yeah we'll catch up with you guys when we get home how's your day been Edward? bloody terrible <laughs> how wet are you? Well, I'm not too bad, but my trousers are about, well, they've gone into leggings. You've got leggings on. Oh, Tiny wants to be involved. You're a good boyfriend, aren't you? Mad. Mad, yeah. <laughs> Update. It's still raining. I have coffee. I've had bacon bat. I'm going home with a smile on my face because Tiny did a 29 dressage in torrential rain and jumped a clear in the 90. Show jumping. So I cannot ask for any more. Um, we're going to come back. We're at Aston the Walls, by the way. I don't think I've said. Um, they run loads of arena eventing over the winter. So um, Tiny and I will just come back another day and do the 90 there. Um, and yeah, it's just a grim, a grim old day. Um, I mean, oh, it looks like there's a photographer. So maybe I can get a nice photo of us show jumping. But yeah, I'm going to get a crepe now and go home. Edward. I am currently drying everything in the solarium because it's soaked through. It's typical. Look, it's now sunny. It wasn't like this a few hours ago when um, I was about to go show jumping and dressage. Um, yeah, I'm a, I am a bit disappointed now that the weather's nice because obviously if I'd have had later times, I perhaps maybe would have run cross country. I don't know. The ground would have still been underwater. So um, I'm a firm believer of everything happens for a reason. Um, my pony's home safe and sound. Yeah, I'm going to try not to dwell on it too much. We had a good day and that's all that matters. <laughs>